Seeking to protect the integrity of the very foundation of our democracy, our system of voting, Pennsylvania has joined 15 other states to require that citizens present a valid, non-expired photo ID before casting their vote in either a primary or general election. We, the people who cast our votes to choose who are going to govern us, deserve to make sure that we have integrity in our election process. And how else can you do that other than to ensure when somebody votes, they are who they claim to be? Across the country, each election season brings reports and criminal prosecutions of illegal voting, either individuals voting under a fictitious name, voting multiple times, or stealing the vote of others, even deceased persons, by assuming their identities. We've heard from both sides that there are concerns about voter fraud, and there are those that say there is no voter fraud. I happen to believe that if there is one instance of voter fraud, that makes this bill all the ever so much more important. It preserves at the bottom line the integrity of an individual's vote, that nobody else can vote for you. The integrity of your vote is preserved. The new law accepts a number of different forms of ID as valid, including driver's licenses, military IDs, college IDs, or those from long-term care facilities. The State Department of Transportation says that 99% of voting age adults in Pennsylvania already possess photo IDs. Those who don't may, under the new law, get a free ID from PennDOT. Every week, at some point in time, you're going to have to produce an ID. So I don't think it's an unusual occurrence. I think it's rather the exception to the rule that you would not have to produce it. And the nice thing about the voter ID law is that we're going to do a test run. We're going to do that in the primary. If there are problems, they're going to surface then. I doubt that there will be many, if any. And if there are, we can easily correct them. While the new law takes effect immediately, voters in April's primary election will still be able to vote without a photo ID. But they will be reminded that for all subsequent elections, voter ID will be required.